Park. Very interesting to uh, walk these alleys here. The side of Macau that most people don't see. All right, guys, I just took a taxi to the very northern end of Macau. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, Hi, ho. Are you from Macau? Philippines. Are you from Philippines? Oh, um, but yeah, why did I come to the very northern end of the city? Because you guys know I am very intrigued to see international borders. I like to see border regions and we do have the border to mainland China right here. As far as I can see on Google Maps, the international border is right behind this park. So let's have a look. Let's check it out. Also, this area, the northern end of Macau, is uh, way less touristy. I would even say not touristy at all. It's away from the casinos, away from the tourist spots. And yeah, you guys know I like to see not only international borders, but also local areas. So we can see both things here. First, let's check out the, the border and then maybe we can get uh, food actually in the local neighborhood here. Okay, I hope this time I will be successful to actually see mainland China. Maybe you remember one of my previous videos where I tried to visit the border between Hong Kong and mainland China and that didn't really work out well. But here I'm actually very optimistic that I will be able to properly see mainland China. And yeah, the buildings we can see in the background, that definitely is mainland China. But yeah, I want to get to the border want to get to mainland China as close as possible and yeah we do have actually a fence here then a little I uh, probably like a gray zone and then there's a second fence and then right behind this fence we have mainland China that is very interesting and yeah the city over there is called Tsu Hai. Hai Hao. <laughs> this is a uh, mainland China right? Yes. Ah, this is the border? Uh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> very close yeah. Uh, <laughs> What is the name of the city? Suhai? Ah, yes. Suhai? Suhai. Ah, Suhai. okay. Ah, very interesting. Ah. I can go? Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Only this. Only this, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, the local says it's okay. Shouldn't be a big problem. Okay, guys. The first time on my channel that we're going to see mainland China. Check it out. Yeah, nothing too special to be honest. I promise you guys, sooner or later, I will also travel to mainland China and then film proper videos in this interesting country over here. But also the park here looks actually quite beautiful, relaxing, a lot of people are here to work out, to go running, playing with the children over there. A nice relaxing park right at the border to mainland China. I love football. My favorite sport. The thing that I miss the most about being at home in Germany is going to the stadium, watch my team. Yeah, that's the, the probably, apart from family and friends, the number one thing I miss about uh, being in Germany. Okay, so now I am on the opposite side of the park. The park is right here. Let's check out this uh, local neighborhood here. Yeah, like I said, it's... Uh, in the northern end of the city, away from the casinos and all the, the touristy areas. Let's see if we can get a nice dinner here. I have to say the, the buildings here, these uh, high skyscraper residential building, it looks similar like in Hong Kong. Because yeah, the same, or same as in Hong Kong, the city has a relatively small area and there are quite a few people living here for this small area. At the moment, there are around 700,000 people living here in Macau on an area. I'm not sure how many square kilometers it is. I will write it down here for you. But yeah, this is a relatively small area for quite a few people. And that's the reason why, of course, the residential building have to be higher rather than widely spread it. Hello, Nai Hao. You have something to drink here? Oh, oh this is a careful. Oh, I just saw this and I'm very thirsty. Um, is it is it like a tea? Is it a tea? Yeah, uh, lemon tea. Uh, what what else do you have? Everything tea? Uh, Brunei beer. 
Bier? Bier, ja. This one, okay. Is that Macau beer? No. No, no Macau beer. I would like to try Macau beer. And we have coffee here. Uh, because uh, uh, maybe wait 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Another order. Oh, but this is coffee, right? Yeah. But it's uh, too late for coffee. Maybe, can I get this one? Is it lemon tea? <laughs> no problem, no problem. With the English. What do you want? Yeah, this is lemon tea, right? Yeah, le lemon tea. Can I get lemon tea? Yeah. And how much waiting time? Uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah, I have four the... Ah, oh, that's maybe a little bit too long. Yeah. Ah. Okay, maybe I come back later. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> Oh, in the road here? Ah, no problem. Ah. Ah, I'm very thirsty actually and I walked by and I saw the, the lemon tea on the menu. But that 20 minutes waiting time for lemon tea might be a little bit too long. Mm, interesting shops here. Hey ho, hello. Ah, what are you selling here? Uh, tea? Tea? Oh, I, I can't read it. <laughs> But um, maybe this is some Chinese tea here. Uh, what what is this? Uh, well, I, I don't know what it is. I can't use my uh, translate app because my uh, internet data is not working. I don't have a SIM card that's working here, so I can't translate it. This is uh, uh, like this, but it's for drinking, right? For drinking? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can drink here? Yeah. I can sit down? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what I will get here. I think it's uh, going to be herbal tea. Yeah. Okay, uh, probably uh, homemade here. Okay, uh, Doce. Thank you very much. Yeah, this uh, Chinese uh, tea. That's oh, very good. Oh. Um, maybe you remember in one of the previous episodes when I was in Vietnam, Chinatown, uh, Ho Chi Minh City, I tried a Chinese herbal tea and that tasted exactly the same. So it's not a, not a sweet, uh, not a bitter tea, it is sweet, but not too sweet. And yeah, this typical uh, herbal flavor. Oh, very good, I like it a lot. Oh, very refreshing and cold. Okay, how much you get? Uh, 13? Okay, Doce, thank you very much. Oh, oh that was some really delicious uh, drink right there. Oh, we have haircut places here. Oh, actually, there are two haircut places right next to each other. So the competition must be strong here. I don't know about you guys, but for me it's always very, very interesting to uh, have a look around these local neighborhoods. No other tourists here, especially not other Western tourists. People are friendly towards me. People are curious. I know there's a next barber shop here. So three haircut places within 50 meters. That is interesting. People like to get haircuts here, I think. Hey, how? Hello. Oh, we have some uh, some snacks here on the road. Is this a uh, fish? Fish curry? Fish uh, Four? Okay, uh, can I get three? You some go? Some. Some means three, I think. Some go? In here? Oh, oh it's oh, so much. Uh, two, two. Oh, I thought it's smaller ones. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, so. I think she's asking. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not sure what's going on. She, I think she uh, asked, asked me to uh, remove the, the ball from the stick, and that's what she just did. Ah, we get a little bit of sauce. Manjin. Manjin. Okay. Okay. No idea what it is, but I'm happy to try. <laughs> Oh, it looks interesting. Oh, okay. So everything is getting mixed together in the bowl. Okay. 
Yeah, when you watch my Hong Kong videos, you saw that I used my uh, Google Translate app to uh, translate uh, the language signs here, but that only works when you have internet. And my SIM card is not working here, so I can't translate anything. Okay, ah, uh, Doji. How much do you get? 18. 18? Ah, I have 20 right here. Ah, okay, okay. Maybe let me take a picture first on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, feel free to do so. Can I broach? Okay, let's see what it is. So this looks like, like dough. And I think the, the sauce is curry sauce. Mm, maybe it's not curry. Maybe it's a little bit curry. But it tastes very good. A little bit spicy, but just slightly, a little bit. And I think these are fish balls, actually. Is this fish? Uh, fish. 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 Ah, yeah, okay. Curry fish. Uh, fish. And this is uh, curry. Curry, curry. Curry. <laughs> okay, let me try. Maybe I can find out if it's fish. Oh, very good. Mm. I do think it is fish, but uh, there's not really a strong fish flavor to it. So it's really delicious, actually. Could also be chicken, but I think it's fish. That's what I notice here a lot. Most people pay without cash. You see it everywhere. It was the same in Hong Kong. That people pay everything just with their phone. I think they use uh, some app, maybe uh, WeChat Pay, WePay, or AliPay, and everything is paid just with, with an app. Oh, he wants to offer me something else. Dipping it into the into the sauce here, and then putting it into my bowl. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay. Happy to try more. Maybe it's fish cake. It looks a bit like fish cake. Mm, there's something inside. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, it's very good. Yeah, yeah. So if you bite onto it, you can feel there's um, like a cream inside, which tastes really, really good. Ah, here. You see there's an, like a pink cream inside. Maybe it's crab or like mayo, mayonnaise, something. Oh, very interesting. Oh, yeah, I like it. Oh. This one here? Yeah, okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Anyone of you uh, watching this knows what it is? Please let me know in the comment section. She has even a uh, french fries and chicken nuggets here. French fries, chicken nuggets. What is this? Chicken? 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 Oh. Can I get one? Oh, now I'm, I'm going to try almost everything here. <laughs> I'm not going to try french fries and chicken nuggets. Ah, oh, no, 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 just, just, just one, please. Just, just one, yeah, yeah. I think this is uh, chili right here. Chili. And we have, um, I think, eggplant here filled with something. We have some chicken wings here. Oh, and some intestines, I think. Oh. This, this looks like a McDo McDonald's. <laughs> like, like the, the, the bag from McDonald's as well. Yeah. Ah, yes, more translation. Uh, lobster salad. Ah, ah, okay. Ah, so the ball with the with the pink cream inside is a lobster salad. Ah, okay, okay. Ah. And this one, chicken. Ah, chicken. Oh, everybody knows the word for chicken. International, uh, everywhere around the world. Okay, so I guess it's gonna be like fried chicken. That's exactly what it is. Piece of chicken with some dough around it, and then uh, fried in oil here. Oh, very hot. Oh, hot. <laughs> <laughs> very hot, yeah. <laughs> oh, doce, doce. Thank you very much. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> well, that was a lovely little food stop here. Still have some apple juice left. Hmm. Check this out. You really see these alleys here surrounded by these huge skyscrapers here oh that looks really interesting i'm a village boy most of my life i lived in villages so seeing something like this is still very crazy for me yeah people living here in these small little alleys the sunlight is probably blocked the whole day from all these huge buildings right here Oh, that is very interesting to see. Oh, there seems to be a little restaurant here. 
de comidas ah, estabelecimiento de comidas da Cicao. Hello. Comidas uh, means food. Uh, I can speak a little bit of Spanish because I used to uh, live in Spain for half a year for an internship in university. And Portuguese is a little bit similar to Spanish. They have some words that are the same or very similar. So comida, for example, which was written on there, is the same in Espanol and in Spanish. Ah, here we have it again. Comidas, which means food. Ah. Wow. Very interesting to uh, walk these alleys here. Very local neighborhood. Yeah, it's very, very interesting to also see this side of Macau. The side of Macau that most people don't see, most tourists, I should say, don't see. The local side. Behind all the casinos, all the neon lights, all the glamour, there are also, yeah, people just living here, you know? And that is very interesting for me to see. Let's check out what's down here. Oh, it seems to be a popular place. Maybe we can uh, find some more food. I'm in a mood to try food now. Preferably little street snacks so I can try more and more rather than getting a proper meal. So I'm not sure what is being sold here. Oh, I think it's uh, alcohol actually. Oh, maybe some wine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I think they are selling a rhino over there. Here as well. Oh. Alcohol, Hennessy. Oh, we have ice cream. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, you have ice cream? Uh, ice cream. Uh, uh, can I get one? Uh, yeah, go yeah, yeah. Uh, Not sure what uh, flavor she is selling here, but I guess I'm going to find uh, out. 10? Okay, okay. Uh, okay uh, for, for 10, I forgot the name of the currency again. Patata. Uh, yeah, I have 10 right here. Ah, I think she only has one flavor. Oh, no, actually, I think there's at least two colors in there. Uh, do you speak English? Uh, I don't know. Not. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Ah, uh, doce, doce. Uh, okay, thank you. Ah, uh, you get a. Uh, let me pull on the mask. So it is a mixed flavor here. I see a chocolate, strawberry. The green one maybe is mint. Ah, <laughs> hello. Oh, ah, <laughs> oh, very good. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> hello. <laughs> I see a lot of uh, surprised and curious faces here. Probably not many Western foreigners make it to this area of the town. Oh, what's better than getting some ice cream here? Mm, wow, I like this area. I like it a lot here. I'm not sure what the sign says partidas. And if I remember my Spanish, partida in Espanol means to leave, I think. So partidas probably means something with leaving. So I'm wondering, maybe this is an official border crossing point. Because yeah, we are still basically right next to the border of mainland China. So I can imagine that this is a border crossing point. And if you see the amount of people, maybe also a lot of Chinese people, people from mainland China, also work here in Macau. So now it is uh, 6.30, so probably the time after work. So they are leaving and maybe just going back home to mainland China. That's what I can imagine. But if any one of you in the comment section can explain, maybe some of you who are watching this are from Macau, you can explain a little bit more. Feel free to do so, I'm very curious. And we have uh, the fans right here on the right side next to the road. And over there we have mainland China. But yeah, living here right on the border. So I guess then this area right here is basically kind of a no man's land. Because I see another fence over there on the mainland Chinese side. And then yeah, we have the, the fence right here. Oh, and you can actually uh, sit down here, overlook to mainland China. There's a fresh wind coming from the ocean, really nice here. Uh, one here. 
Mm. And 130 Hong Kong dollar, okay? Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay, Dodgy. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye bye. All right, it is the next day and I came to the very southern end of Macau now. Yesterday we have been to the very northern end to the border and now we are at the very southern end. Also a very non-touristy area, far away from the casinos, from the tourist areas. And there's a beach right here, which I would like to check out. Maybe we can find some, some food, have a snack, have a look around. Hello. Hello. Oh, you have coconut here? Yeah, coconut. Ah. Oh, how much is a coconut? 30. How much? 30? Okay, uh, one coconut, please. Ah, let's start with a coconut, why not? What's better than getting a coconut right on the beach? Let's see if I still have the local currency. But uh, yeah, so far, always possible to pay with Hong Kong dollar as well. Is that right? Okay. Thank you very much, Toche. Okay, thank you, thank you. Oh, they have a barbecue here as well. Oh, I think I'm going to come back for the barbecue. Ah, hello. <laughs> One more? Oh, maybe later. <laughs> maybe later, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I am sure that most people here are surprised to see a Western uh, foreigner here. Because as you can see around me, I am the only Westerner around here, which is not a surprise. Anyway, let's have a look at this beach here. I guess this is a popular place for the locals that are living in Macau to come. Today is not really a sunny day. It's very uh, cloudy, overcast. So it's not the perfect weather for the beach. But still, some people are here. Right, the beach here is called Hak Sa Beach and in Cantonese Hak Sa means black sand and as you can see the sand, the color of the sand here is black. It's not really this typical white sand beach color. It looks actually quite interesting. A black sand beach. Have you seen that before? Quite unique, isn't it? And yeah, it's the largest natural beach here in Macau and I guess actually that there are not that many beaches around because yeah, the city is uh, kind of small. Although today the water doesn't look that inviting, but uh, yeah, imagine this place with bright sunshine, probably on the weekends even busier. Today is not a weekend, it's a Monday, actually Monday early afternoon. Let's actually have a look at the barbecue place. That actually looked quite good. Maybe we can get some, some meat skewers or something like that. Hello. Ah, not, not another one. Ah, no, thank you. I'm here for the bar. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, ah, even in English. Ah, that's very convenient. Okay. Let's see. We have chicken, chicken wings, squid, pork chops, uh, chicken kidney, chicken cartilage. Uh, can I get a pork chop bread? Yes. Uh, just one? Yeah, just one. No spicy. Uh, no spicy. No spicy. Yeah, true. Uh, so I guess it's going to be a pork chop inside a bread. Uh, soft, please. Soft, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, that bread like this. And yeah, what I noticed here, people uh, ask me uh, a lot if I want the food spicy or not. So I guess spicy food is uh, kind of popular here. Ah. This is the pork chop? Yeah? Oh, it looks very good. Pork chop on the grill here, we have chicken wings. I see some seafood here. Ah, this might be a stinky beef. What's better than uh, freshly barbecue meat, right? Oh, the smell here is amazing. I wish you could smell what I'm smelling here. Oh, delicious. Actually, she just offered me beer here. I'm curious to try uh, local beer. Do you have Do you have beer from Macau? Macau beer. Macau beer. Yes. This is from Macau. Ah, yeah, Macau beer. Yes. Ah. Okay. How much? 
25. Yes. Okay, uh, one Macau beer, please. Okay. I'm just curious to try a local beer here. So, uh, actually, is it actually beer? It says golden ale. Is it with alcohol? With, no. Uh, no, I mean uh, with alcohol. Uh, have alcohol? <laughs> she doesn't understand. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's alcohol in here. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, 25, right? Yes. One, two, three, five, uh, twenty more. Okay, gotcha. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, I'm actually not sure if there's alcohol in here uh, because I don't see a percentage anywhere written. Actually, I'm curious. I'm going to uh, translate. Uh, I have a working internet by now. Figured it out. Oh. Is there alcohol inside? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think she's also not sure. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Oh ah, yeah, ah, yeah. Oh okay. Ah, actually that's written five percent alcohol. Ah okay. <laughs> oh it's a little bit hard to find, but uh, somewhere hidden in all these uh, writing there's a percentage. Five point one percent of alcohol. Okay, let's try Macau beer. You know I am from Germany. The world's best beer is coming from Germany. So let me see how I uh, rate this beer. Actually, it's very good. It's smooth. I like uh, smooth tasting beers. So not a strong beer taste, you know, it's smooth. Ah, oh, one second. How much you get? 25. 25. I can pay with Hong Kong dollar? Yeah. You're Germany. I'm from Germany, yeah. How do you know? Oh, because I said it, right? Ah, yeah, I just said I'm from Germany. <laughs> ah, thank you. Thank you. Do you see many uh, Western tourists here? No. No, right? It's only for local people. Yeah. Oh. Um, and maybe, I guess maybe maybe you get um, Balandu. Balandu is Portuguese. Portuguese, yeah. Yes, yes. Ah. But I guess on the weekend, many people from Macau come yeah. to the beach. Yeah. yeah? Popular. Swimming. Many, ah, many swimming, people, yeah. Barbecue inside. Ah, okay. It looks beautiful here. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm going to try it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe my pronunciation sounds funny. Um, actually, let me sit down and enjoy the beer, the pork chop. But yeah, he just confirmed that not many Western tourists make it to this place of the, of the, of the city of Macau. Mm. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to uh, walk around with a beer here. In Germany, it's allowed to drink in public walking around with, with alcohol. But I'm actually not sure if that's the case here. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to sit down here again. And then we have a try on the on the barbecue, the pork chop. Ah, okay. Yeah, what's better? Drinking a cold beer, eating some barbecue meat while sitting on a beach. Amazing. Okay, it looks like this. So we have a bun, which is very soft, and then inside a thin piece of uh, pork chop. Mm. The bun is a little bit dry. Could, could need some sauce, maybe some tomato sauce, or some, some sweet chili sauce. That would uh, go well with this, I think. But the meat itself is pretty good. Can I put it back here? Oh, love sour. Yeah? Love sour. Ah, okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Okay, so now there's the problem that, yeah, I came here with a taxi. It was like a 20 minute ride from uh, where I'm staying. And 
I don't think that there are many taxis around here. So I think I'm just going to try to take the bus now to... Uh, actually, I don't want to get back now. I want to go to another village, which is nearby here. And there is something that I would like to try on that village. Um, let's see if I can take this bus. Okay, so we have everything written here in Portuguese as well. And yeah, my uh, Spanish skills are quite handy now because yeah, many of the words are similar or the same. So I understand a little bit here. Six? Six? Okay, I think the ride is not far actually. It should be like 10, maybe 15 minutes to another village here at the southern end of Macau. Actually, taking the bus is very easy here. It was the same in Hong Kong. The public uh, transportation, the infrastructure for the public transportation is uh, really, really well. So even here at the very southern end, away from the city center, there's a bus coming like every five minutes or so. Okay, yeah, that was a quick ride, less than 10 minutes, I guess. And yeah, we came to this little village here, which I think is called Koluane. And I came here for one specific reason, because I heard that there's a very popular, very good place that sells uh, Portuguese egg tarts. And the place that I'm looking for is right here. Oh, and we have another nice ocean front over there, I think. So maybe let's get some egg charts and then we try it. Oh, it smells very nice in here. Oh, we also have something else, which is scone, chocolate croissant. Do you still have egg tarts? Yes, how yes? many one? Uh, how much is one? Uh, 11 each. Okay, can I get two? So I got two little egg tarts, which I'm very curious to try. Oh, it smells amazing in here. It's typical uh, bakery uh, smelling. Mm, look how beautiful it is here. Oh, that was actually pretty nice. And over there actually, guys, we have mainland China again. So this is yet another border that we can see in my video. <laughs> People are smiling at me, like a nice welcoming smiling. People seem to be very friendly, they're very kind and friendly. That's my impression uh, in Hong Kong and here in Macau as well. Very kind people. How are you? Hello. Hi. How are you? Uh, Nei Hao Ma. Nei Hao Ma. <laughs> Nei Hao Ma. <laughs> are you from Macau? Yes, I'm oh. North Macau, local Macau. Oh, it's a nice place here. Oh yeah, yeah. It's far away from the... City. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, this is uh, China over there, right? Yeah, yeah. Mainland yeah, China? Yeah, yeah. Place in Macau. This is the most quiet place? Yes, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. Very beautiful here. Another, you go to the Hassa Beach? Oh, yeah, I just coming yeah, from yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hmm? I like to see places without the tourists. Yes. I think here not many tourists come here. Mm, yeah. Exactly, but hmm? uh, there's the egg tart. Yeah, yeah, I heard it's yeah, popular. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, see, people here are curious, welcoming, friendly. Okay, let's come to the egg tart. So in case you don't know, it looks like this. Mm. Oh, this is really good. It's the best when it's still a little bit warm. So the, the fluffy part inside here, the egg, is still warm, which is amazing. And then we have yeah, the, the burnt crunchy part here on the on the top uh, oh, no. how do you say bye bye in japan uh, sayonara sayonara mm. ah. <laughs> oh, okay nice to meet you nice to, nice to meet you, you. Oh. have fun oh thank you very much oh. <laughs> goodbye. Oh, goodbye goodbye bye bye <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, his wife is uh, from Japan actually, they just uh, uh, talked to me, they were curious to know where I'm from, why I'm here. Um, so a Macau Japanese couple and I'm going to eat the second egg tart now because it's really amazing. It 
it's a very interesting mix here of um, yeah, European architecture style. The roads here really remind me about uh, Portugal. But then all these uh, Chinese influences here, you see Chinese characters all over. There's a little Chinese temple over there. So it's a really interesting mix of yeah, basically West and East. Looks really beautiful here, right? A little square here, some restaurants on the side here. Wow, this is really a different side of Macau. A side that I uh, didn't expect. Wow, it looks, yeah, like I said before, it looks almost like, uh, like in Portugal here, like in uh, Europe. But then here and there we have these Asian touches to it. Wow. It's always so interesting to uh, look behind the tourist sites of the countries or the places that I visit. You guys know how much I like to do that. And I can always highly recommend whenever you're visiting famous cities, famous countries, do also visit the non-touristy areas. Places like this, where you can see the, the authentic parts of the countries. Very, very nice. Very beautiful to also see this part of Macau. Okay, I am going to uh, try to find another bus now, going back to the city. And then actually tomorrow I'm heading back to Hong Kong, but only for one night, because I'm having a flight the next day out of Hong Kong to another country. Really looking forward to that. And yeah, if you haven't seen my previous video from Macau, where we explored the touristy side of this city, check it out right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.